on guys welcome back to the channel thanks so much for tuning in today i've got a really special top five review for you we're taking a look at my picks for the top five linking card effects now this is a plot and magic that i really like um, i've been road testing studying and experimenting with this effect for almost 20 years now so i feel like i've utilized just about every version that has been put out on the market and so i think i can present to you guys a list of what i think is the best of the best as usual i have no disclosures i've taken this material from magazines books videos standalone downloads manuscripts lecture notes you name it i've taken a look at it um and so i think that you're really going to like what i'm presenting to you guys because i had put together a strict list of criteria for those of you that want to perform a close-up version of the linking card effect that will blow away your spectators. And so hopefully one of these five effects or something that will pique your interest. I'm not trying to give you a list of like 10 random effects and tell you to hunt them all down and figure out which one you like. I've already done the work for you. And so we're going to go over the history very briefly. Then I'm going to go over a couple of notable mentions. The criteria, which is probably the most important part because you know, without a criteria, then this is all just really subjective. And then the top five list. Along the way, I may do a couple of demos for you and also show you some video of the actual creators that put this stuff together. So before we get started, it's important that we're all on the same page in the event that you're not familiar with the linking card plot, although I assume that you probably know exactly what it is. For those of you who are not sure what it is, it is an effect with cards that emulates the linking rings effect where essentially you either are going to use one card or multiple cards you're going to tear out two rings from one card or you're going to use two cards and you're going to tear out two frames and then you are going to make one ring penetrate the other one and you can show to your spectator that the rings have linked and many of the effects have multiple phases um, many of the effects either you're going to end in that state where they're linked and you can give it away or you're going to unlink them and give them away or show them to the spectator. Um, it just depends on the effect and we're going to get into that now. So the history of the linking card effect, um, you know, uh, it really became popular back in the 70s when Paul Harris uh, put out his cardboard connection effect. And in that effect, you took some cards and you ripped out the centers and you linked two cards right in front of the spectator. And then you were able to tell them to hold out their thumbs and you were able to immediately separate them and put them on their thumbs and they could examine the cards and they wouldn't find anything there. That's really what really got some buzz. And then a couple of years later, he put out his Immaculate Connection, uh, which was a more refined version of the effect. It, the method was actually a little bit different um because it, it was it was a little bit different the method and it had more phases to it and you're probably familiar with it because it became popular when david copperfield performed it on television in 1983. in fact you could still see the performance here on youtube and i will leave a link in the description so you can check it out but it is interesting to note that even carl fulves back in 1972 had published ideas about linking card effects and he even mentioned an interesting source that was published back in 1917, uh, which was a book by Henry de Denny, which was called Amusements in Mathematics, where there's talk about linking card effects um, that you can find in that book. That book was actually a book of math problems. And if you are looking, if you're into math, you may want to check it out just because there's some interesting stuff in there, some interesting puzzles that will rack your mind. For quite a bit of time but that's really the history of the effect and then afterwards there's been many different versions that were put out so let's take a look at a couple of notable mentions and then we're going to get into the criteria for this top five review so the first notable mention that i'm going to go over is actually an effect that doesn't use cards at all but it's so good i wanted to mention it to you guys because i think that you would like it a lot and that was Ken Martin's effect called Fusion Loops. Now, the reason why the effect is so good is because it absolutely knocks your spectator for a loop. What you do is you take out a piece of paper like this, right? 
And what you're going to do is you're going to rip it in half and you're going to explain to them the idea of the linking rings, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to take each half and you're going to fold it up like this and you're going to make literally a little loop with it um, in front of the spectator just like this. So you're going to make two loops and you're going to tell the spectator like, hey, look, this is how we link them. And it's very simple because the paper will pretty much stay together. You don't even need any glue or anything, which is great. But you just show them that you like this. You could say, look, this is how you, this is exactly how you can uh, link. This is the linking rings. This is the secret to the linking rings, right? And it's in this moment that, you know, they're going to think like, yes, yeah, so what? So it's that or whatever. And it's at that point that you could tell them, you know, like, hey, hold out your hand for a second, right? And then you can hand it to them and, you know, you tell them to try to separate them. And what's going to happen is they're going to open up the rings and what they're going to find when they open this up, of course, is they're going to find that it's actually just one sheet of paper. And that is going to absolutely destroy their mind because they're not going to see that coming at all. Now, in the original version, um, in the original manuscript, uh, Ken Martin talked about using an envelope, right, to do the switch, right? But I'm going to tell you guys from my own experiences, you don't need that at all. All you need is a second of misdirection. And the second of misdirection is once you've done once you've linked the two pieces together and you show it to them and you just say yeah that's how you link them you see this is like how they do the linking rings right and that's it at that moment they'll look at it for a second and then your hands just drop you'll be able to get your you know you'll be able to get your other one and just have it in your hand and then you just tell them hey uh here take it for a second they're not even paying attention you don't even have to do a switch which is hilarious i don't even have to do that you just hand it to them they're going to they're going to just assume it's the same one that you just had a second ago in your hand because why why wouldn't it be but when they try to separate those rings and they open it up and find that it's one piece of paper it's going to absolutely blow them away and so this is really a type of origami magic effect and even in the manuscript ken martin talks about how some magicians probably would just present them with the rings and tell them to just separate them but i agree with him that the effect is so much stronger if you take a piece of paper, rip it in half, fold it up, which only takes literally less than a minute, a couple seconds to fold it up in half, and show them how you can make a ring out of the paper, and then show them how you can link the two rings together. And what's funny about it is that I'm telling you guys from my own experiences that it gets gasps because people don't expect that. They clearly saw you rip the paper in half. They clearly saw you link these two rings together. You put them together. Now suddenly it's one solid piece of paper. It just destroys their brain. It's such a great visual illusion. And so that is my first notable mention. You definitely should check that out. Moving along to our next notable mention, we have an effect that was very famous, put out by Sixten Beam in 1978, which was called One Card Link. Uh, the effect was actually republished. It was re-released by Tom Stone. I think it was in 2018. He called it the Replete Card Link. Now, the effect is simple. You take a card and you're going to rip out two rings from it, and then you're just going to link them. It's just one link and then you can let the spectator look at it, they can examine it um, because the gimmick is very well made. Um, unfortunately, it will take you more than five minutes to make the gimmick, and so it's not very practical for people that are looking for more of a effect that they can perform again and again, or something they can prepare at home very quickly. Um, unfortunately, it does not meet the criteria on my list uh, for what I was looking for, um, which is why it's just a notable mention and it's not part of the top five list. Although you may like it and you may like how you end and how the spectator can look at it really closely when you're done. Uh, the next notable mention or our last notable mention is an effect by Andrew Main, which is called Hyper Cards. And I do remember that he did teach it and go over it on his Penguin Live lecture as well. Um, it's another version of the linking card effect where you're going to take a card, you're going to rip out two rings and link them together. The main reason why this doesn't meet my criteria 
was because you can't show the front and the back of the cards um, after they're linked. Um, and so yeah, I think it was based on the Crabtree connection, which was also published like in the 70s. Um, but for that main reason, that's why it really doesn't meet my criteria. But the advantage of Andrew Main's version is that after you do the unlink, you can actually hand out the frames and let people look at them. They're really, it's gonna be hard for them to figure out how it was done. Um, it's a great optical illusion. Definitely something you may be interested in, which is why I mention it here as a notable mention. So the criteria that I used for this top five linking card plot is as follows. Number one, that the card or the cards need to be shown front and back to the spectator. They look normal before you start. Okay, that's important. Number two, in real time, you're going to tear the cards and link them in front of the spectator. Number three, in the linked condition, you can show the front and the back of the cards linked. So that already weeds out a lot of a lot of these effects that exist. And then the last criteria, the last point was that after you unlink them or even in their linked condition, you can hand them out to the spectator, let them look at them, um, that they're not gonna immediately figure out how it was possible. In some cases, you can even let them take it home with them. Now, that criteria has weeded out most of the effects that exist out there um, because there's a lot of limitations, as you can imagine. And so I'm trying to present to you the best of the best. Again, as usual, if you think that I've missed something important, as long as it fits my criteria, just leave us a comment below. A lot of times people will say, oh, you missed this effect, but it doesn't even come close to meeting the criteria that I'm setting forth. And the reason why is because I'm trying to present to you guys just the best of the best, instead of it just being something subjective, like, oh, I like this effect for this reason. Now, of course, this top five list is organized in terms of least to most favorite, okay? But I like all of them, and I think you will too. Although I'm sure that one or two of these will probably pique your interest more than any other one. So starting out with number five, we have Link by Christoph Rossius. Let's take a quick look at the effect. Let's take a look at this trailer so you can see what the effect looks like. You're going to take a card and you're going to tear out the center of the card and also initial it. And you're going to explain to the spectator that in a moment you're going to have them do the same thing. Um, so the structure of this is really clever. It looks really fair because you've done that. Now you tell the spectator you want them to select a card. And it really is a free choice. They can select any card they want there. They're going to also tear out the center and they're going to initial it. And uh, the beauty of this is that obviously the gimmick does all the hard work for you um, and um, no difficult sleight of hand. You're going to have this crazy visual link, which we're going to see here now. You're going to see how this looks. Boom, that is crazy visual. And um, it really looks completely copacetic there. Um, you don't get to see the unlink in the trailer, but it is also just as visual. And uh, the cleanup is really clever too. It's very simple. Um, so that way you can hand the cards to them and let them take them home if you want to when you're done, which is great. So I think I picked that up for around 25 bucks when I got it, maybe about seven years ago. The effect is hyper visual. There is no difficult sleight of hand. And the beauty of it is that I think the unlink was just as, as visual as the link. Um, and you can let the spectator take those uh, cards home with them when you're done because of the cleanup. It's a very easy to perform version. If you're looking for a version that doesn't use any sleight of hand, I think you're really gonna like that a lot. And that's number five on my list of top five linking card effects. Moving along to number four, we have an effect that some of you may think is not a real linking card effect, but I would argue otherwise. It's an effect that I've been performing for 15 years now, which is crazy when you think about it, such a large amount of time. I think I learned it back in like 2008, and that is Joshua Quinn's conjunction. Now, this effect is a business card effect, actually, and you can use your card, or you can use your spectator's card if you want to. Um, you introduce the plot of the idea of the, the linking rings, 
and then you can right there in real time tell them you're going to show them how it's done you can you're going to tear your business card into two rings and apparently right then and there as you're tearing them you're going to link them the beauty of this is that it's the perfect way to hand out your business card because as soon as you're done tearing them then the spectator can just they can look at it as much as they want they can take it home with them because they're permanently linked and so it's actually a really cool little type of like i would say it's like cool type of like kirigami effect because it's like tearing of paper effect um and even though some people might argue that it's not really magical i would tell you guys from performing this for 15 years that it's very very magical it's a very magical effect in fact i'm going to show you what it looks like the only downside to the effect is that is the time that it takes to actually rip the card but I'm gonna tell you guys that it really doesn't take long. Maybe it takes a minute. And if you're talking to the person while you're doing it, it just passes really quickly. So let me show you what it looks like in my own hands. I'm going to use my unbiased magic reviews card, but you can use any business card you want. I mean, I found that some work better than others, obviously. I don't know, the cheaper business cards seem to work better um, just because they bend easier. Um, the really thick ones are harder to do although i will tell you i've done this with really thick business cards as well it, you can do it with any especially once you learn it um then it'll be very very easy um uh the only thing that may be a little bit difficult is initially learning it from you know the manuscript and the images but if you just work out a little bit you'll figure it out it's really not that hard so let me show you what it looks like. Let's take a quick look at it. Here's a quick demo of conjunction for anyone that thinks that it's impractical or difficult to perform. It's really not. It's actually really easy. And the way that I like to do it is I will borrow their card. It's usually better to do it with their card because then it will really amaze them. Or if they don't have one, you could use yours. Um, and you can introduce the idea if they've ever seen the linking rings as you start to do this and that will gather some interest they'll say oh you mean like on tv or whatever and you say yeah you ever see that trick where people they do link they link these rings and they'll say yeah so do you know how that's done do you know the method usually somebody will have some idea right and then you say all right i'm going to show you how it's done and what's great about that is that they don't realize that you're going about to leave them with a souvenir that they're going to take home and remember now i would recommend that if you like the effect that you take your time and do it a little bit slower than i'm going through this i just want to show you guys that it really can be done really quick too it's not anything that takes too much time but the good thing about this is that when i've done this i always find that people are interested in what i'm doing because i'm tearing up a card and they're like wait a sec what exactly is he doing with that and you tell them that you're going to show them how the linking ring effect is done. And so I think that that is what really gets their attention. What's interesting is that at this point right now, we're actually more than halfway done with the whole thing, which is kind of funny because you wouldn't expect that we're already like halfway done, but yeah, we're actually just about halfway done. So that's great. Um, and actually the, the, the actual link of it, I mean, that's really up to you how you want to do it. Um, I always just find that just the fact that they're going to be linked in their hand in a second, it's just that's going to like completely just blow them away. So I find that I don't need to do really anything else other than this point here where I'm just going to do it like this and then tell the person, all right, check this out. And it's at this point that you can just clean up whatever little stragglers, but you've got now the card it's linked just like that that quick and the beauty of this is that now they can take this home with them now i did kind of go through that really quickly um, but you can actually take your time and make it a lot cleaner and make it a lot better looking but i just went through it really fast to show you exactly how quick it is but now you've got the <laughs> the link and as i mentioned they could take this home with you if it's your business card they're not going to forget you always always amazes people it just blows them away because they've never seen anything like this done right in front of them in that short amount of time um, so highly recommended and as i mentioned this is an effect that i've been doing for like 15 years now so it's definitely worth uh learning and if you really like it a lot you can design your business card where your name is like in the middle so that way 
after this is torn, they'll still be able to read your information so that way they can call you. But trust me, this absolutely impresses people. It blows them away because they've never seen anything like this right in front of their face. For that reason, this is number four on my list of top five Lincoln card effects. Moving along to number three, we have Hitched by Andy Hurst. Now, this effect is about 14 years old. You can still pick it up for $8, and uh, this has gotta be my favorite, like, gaffed version of the effect. And when I say gaffed version, I mean like non-impromptu version. In some ways, it has vastly improved other gaff versions that exist because there's no difficult sleight of hand and it will only take you like two minutes to make the gaff itself. Now, I try to make like five or 10 of them at a time because this is a one card link effect. And so all you have to do is just classic force one of them, one of the cards on your spectator, and then you're gonna rip out two rings out of one card and just link them right in front of them. Um, and the beauty of this is that once you've made the the gaff, it really can be scrutinized closely by the spectator because if they don't know what they're looking for, they'll never figure out or detect what it is with the card. So, you know, here is one card that I have that I've prepared and you would never know what it is. You have no idea. If I just put a couple of these in my deck, like five or 10 and just classic force it on you, it, you would just think it's just a regular card. I mean, it would totally fool you. And I really like the idea of the unlink is extremely visual and then the spectator can immediately look at the rings. They're never gonna figure out how it was possible, which is why this is like my favorite gaff version or prepared version, because it's not gonna take you forever to make the gaff. It's gonna take you like two minutes and yet you've got an effect that's gonna blow people away. Anyway, let's take a quick look at what it looks like in the creator's hands. So let's take a look at Hitched, and um, here's Andy Hurst uh, performing it here, and you're going to take the card that the spectator has chosen themselves, right? Because that's really important, um, which is why I told you guys it's important to have like five or ten. They're so easy to make. You have like five or ten in your, in your deck. You're going to rip out two frames right there in front of them, um, and then instantly link the one frame onto the other one um, in an impossible way. It's extremely convincing. This is like no sleight of hand. This is so simple to do. Um, this really is like the workers linking card effect because if you're looking for something that super easy to learn, well, this is it. Um, and check out how visual this unlink is. This unlink is crazy visual. Look at that. Um, and immediately you can show that there is no um there's no holes like these 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 rings are they're intact um you can show them that so that's why i think the effect is so strong and why i've gone back to it over the years over and over again obviously moving along to number two we have paul harris's immaculate connection well this wouldn't be a top five linking card uh review without paul harris's version that david copperfield performed on national television um, you can actually learn this in multiple locations. You can learn it from The Art of Astonishment, book two, or I would recommend you check out Dan Harlan's Penguin Live act, where he performed it as the last piece of the act, and then he explained it in detail with his own touches, his own handling of Paul Harris's effect. It is the most difficult version on here, but it is very visual. It's completely impromptu. So there is no setups or gaffs or anything, and it will absolutely blow away your spectators. I would urge you to check out the David Copperfield performance I've linked in the description if you wanna see what it looks like. For those people that are interested, I would also recommend you check out Terry Rogers' effect called the Baromian Link, which is actually a variation of the Immaculate Connection. Um, the effect, if you're not familiar with it, it's a two-phase linking card effect where you take three cards, you rip out the centers, and then you apparently throw one of them into the other two. And it is the perfect visual illusion. And then you separate it or you pull it out. And then the second link is done with the card on the table. You just scoop it up and link it. So the table link is really impressive um, and it really gets good reactions. So I use the effect for quite some time. Personally, I found the most difficult part of the effect just tearing out the centers of the three cards 
at the same time. I found that to be a little bit difficult at times. Other than that though, I think with a little bit of practice, it's definitely something that anyone can perform that is into this effect, which is why obviously this is number two on my list. Moving along to number one, the number one linking card effect is an effect by a French magician called Sylvain Miroff called Osmosis. This is a four phase linking card effect that completely meets all my criteria. I've been performing it for almost 20 years. It's a crazy visual. The setup for it is about 10 seconds. It'll take you like 10 seconds to prepare for this if you want to perform it, um, or you could already have a card prepared before you're even going to go out so you have one in your pack ready to go whenever you want to. The reason why it's a four phase routine is because the first phase you take two cards and you tear a piece of them off of each card. Then you link them right there in front of the person. You open them up and you show them that they're linked. You totally open the cards and you have this impossible object where they're totally intertwined within each other. And then afterwards you start to refold them and you tear another piece off of one of them and you show that again it's still linked but it's a large frame linked into the smaller one finally you tear off another piece and you show two large frames that are completely linked each each time you're tearing a piece of the card but you're still showing that they're linked so it's very convincing in that way and then finally you start to fold them up you tear off a small piece and you unlink them and then right there in real time, you rematerialize the piece that was torn off and you show that the two frames are solid objects. Now the beauty of it is that you end squeaky clean. The two frames can be given away to the spectators. They can take them home with them because the evidence is destroyed along the way, which is just great. So let me show you guys a demo of what it looks like. And in fact, I actually dug up an old video of mine from like over 10 years ago where I recorded myself doing this so you can see what it looks like. Let's take a quick look at it.
guys took a look at the effect and you could see how crazy visual it is. It really is a great effect and it gets really good reactions. You can find that in The Art of Astonishment, book two by Paul Harris. And there you guys go. That is my list of top five linking card effects of all time. Um, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them for me below. If you think that I've missed an effect that belongs on this list, please just leave us a comment below. But as I mentioned, I hope that it meets the criteria that I've set forth because I'm only interested in those top effects, those effects that are hyper visual, get really good reactions, look fair, um, and where you don't end completely dirty, obviously. Anyway, I hope that I have piqued your interest, guys, in this review, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next review.